So both sides of the macroeconomics aisle, right, both the supply and demand side, believe that GDP growth is largely explained by increases in physical capital. We use K for capital. Plus increases in human capital. And then the last one is also like increases in technology. These are the three main factors that cause GDP to rise. And so some of this stuff we can measure, right? Like we can measure the amount of physical capital per person. This is the amount and the kind of machinery and equipment that's available to help a person produce a good or service. So physical capital per person, the way that we increase that is just by buying more stuff, right? Making sure that it's useful stuff, buying computers, buying software, buying tables and ovens and mixers and so on and so forth, right? Increasing of human capital This involves increasing the levels of education, of knowledge, of skills. So it's not just the how to, it's the know how. And this is often done through higher education or vocational schools. So if you want your economy to grow, you got to send your people to school. They got to learn how to do stuff. And then both of these things, right, have to happen along with technological advances to increase overall productivity and thus GDP. So when we're looking at potential versus actual GDP, it aligns pretty closely. Potential is usually 1% to 3% above or below uh, or the, the regular GDP. is usually 1% to 3% above or below potential GDP during, if it's above, it's an expansion, and it's below, it's a recession. Questions on how to stimulate GDP and just the differences between our actual GDP and our potential GDP.